You know, this is a guy who obviously has a very long-standing history of yeah. mental illness, yeah. antisocial personality traits, schizoid traits, being yeah. a loner, being an oddball. Tell, well, tell people what you mean by schizoid. That's a Tom we, we don't use often on this show. Oh, I sorry. Know what you mean, but please, go ahead. Yeah, it's just somebody who doesn't seek out them, like emotional connections with other people. Like the it. Unabomber would have sort of schizoid properties, yes? Exactly, yeah. exactly. So, um, but this is a guy who obviously has a long history of mental health issues. On top of that, he has compromised reality testing. We've heard reports at this point that he believed there was a zombie ac apocalypse, uh, apocalypse coming. Uh, we've heard reports that he's a talented sketch artist, that he perseverates on sketching young brunette girls with their hands tied behind their backs. He oh. obviously has a preoccupation with women. Everyone he's seemed to assaulted in his past is a woman. And I kind of wonder about his... Um, his relationship with his primary female caregiver. I mean, that's that goes really deep. But yeah. at this point, that those are sort of my initial thoughts. Well, the answer certainly react to the, uh, the bound Me too. brunettes. Well, I mean, the, well, yeah. I mean, we were talking about it, Sam, before the show that you had just found out that information that the guy had. It was like he was obsessed. You know, even if he didn't have the girl in real life, he would draw her, but <sighs> always bound with her hands behind her back. I mean, Ugh. honestly, that tells you something. And he's been doing that since he was in school, like Ugh. high school, and probably even before that. So, you know, I'm not a psychologist, obviously, but when I hear Jenna talking about that, and you, you he doesn't seek out, um, you know, people to have relationships with and, and to, to engage with yeah. people, I mean, that yeah. is so unhuman, well, you know what I mean, which is very scary, because then, you know, when you rape somebody or you hold somebody against their will, you have no, you, you, you can't really empathize with them, so he's probably like, oh, sorry, you know, I'll be back in a couple hours, here's some food, you well, know, I can only imagine the horror. That, that isn't just the schizoid, that's more the sociopathic piece. Evie, I bet you have some thoughts on this. Yeah, I don't, this is not a type of person who wants to have a relationship. Right. This right. is an individual who's looking to exude power. It's a power thing. Yeah. Having a woman with her hands tied behind her back, what does that mean? It means you're in, po you're in power, you're in control, and she's what? You can do whatever you want to her. That is how these type of serial attackers, these, these individuals with these psychotic disorders behave. They want a victim, they want to play God. Who do you find? You find somebody vulnerable. Who's vulnerable? A 14-year-old female. That's how they work. That's how they think. Nancy Grace just spoke to a former law enforcement officer who had dealt with Kibbe many times. Listen to this and Sam, you react. I've known Nate Kibbe since he was 12 years old, and I've seen the worst of him. I've also saw him when he was a, a young man. He had a, a nice girlfriend. We would often talk about how he had kind of turned his life around. He had a good job as a machinist. He was proud of the fact that he was becoming a productive member of society. But a long struggle, Sam, and not going as well as this guy thought. Yeah, that's interesting because he had a number of relationships. In fact, his previous girlfriend, which was a couple of years ago, they lived together. So I really would love to hear from some of his past relationships, as Evie yeah. pointed out, and see how he was within that relationship. I think that could be really telling. It could be telling, but it could also be really scary. Yeah. Evie, what do you think? And it... Mm. Look, I just want to point out, sometimes these individuals are very charismatic, they're very smart, and a lot of times they lead almost two lives where they have two faces. There's the face that you see when they go outside, they want to have a good life and productive life, but then when they go home, it's that seedy behavior that we don't see behind closed doors.